Well, good evening. It is Memorial Day. I'm Julie Williams. We want to start tonight with a very sincere thank you to all of our servicemen and servicewomen and their families. Today, we remember our heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. News 3 photojournalist Paul Wilcoxon takes us to a memorial service in Marion. First National Observance of Decoration Day was held May 30th, 1868. Today, we know it as Memorial Day. Decoration Day back then and Memorial Day today have the same meeting to honor those who gave their lives in defense of this nation. It's an important day. I think it's uh, key that everybody remember that uh, Memorial Day is about sacrifice and to be grateful uh, for the sacrifices that were made. Retired Captain Daryl Hancock served in the Navy for 30 years. On Monday, he was the keynote speaker for Marion's Memorial Day ceremonies at Rose Hill Cemetery. Being able to speak at the event and represent so many who paid the ultimate sacrifice is an honor not lost upon Hancock. I think it's a sacred honor to be able to do that, to represent them and to help carry that legacy. The event included patriotic music and songs. God bless America. A 21-gun salute. And the playing of taps by the Marion VFW Honor Guard. Marion Mayor Mike Absher touched on what being part of the ceremony has meant to him, including during his time in high school as a bugler. It impressed me just how profound of an experience that was, and how important it was, and how important it was to me. One message Hancock wants to make clear it's okay to enjoy the freedom servicemen and women provide. With that, he asks that you take a moment and remember those who are no longer with us. Like uh, any young American growing up today, I mean, you get uh, thrown in with all of the parties and barbecues and all that, and uh, perhaps you're not taught, you know what I mean, the real reason behind it. I think it's important that uh, uh, that people do reflect and they and show that gratitude, and it was great to see so many people out here today doing that. Reporting from Marion, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3.